In this video, you're going to learn how you can create a custom power function without using math.pow. Before we start, please consider subscribing and liking this video to give me the energy to create more videos like this. Let's start by creating a function and call it power. Set the parentheses and brackets. And for this function, we need two variables. One of them is going to be the number and the other one going to be the value that is going to be power to. Let's call it n. And inside our function, the first thing I want to do, I want to check if the n is equal to zero because any number power to zero is equal to one. So I'll say if the n was equal to zero, just return one. And it doesn't matter what number we have entered. Any number it is, if the n is equal to zero, the return value, the result will be one. And we don't need to set an else because the return keyword will get out of the power function. So any code that we write after this if statement only gonna be executed if the n is not equal to zero. So if the n is not equal to zero, let's just create another variable, let's call it result. And it's just gonna store the result that we are going to show to the user. Let's set it equal to a default value of one. Now after that, we need to create the core loop of our function because to get the power of n to our number, we need to multiply number n times to itself. So the thing that we want to do here, we want to create a while loop that will run n times. And to do that, we have the n. So I'll say until the n is not equal to zero, let's remove one from n. So now our while loop will run n times. And inside each run, I want to say the result going to be multiplied equal to the number. So let's say the n is equal to five. The while loop will run five times and the result will be equal to number multiplied by itself five times. So now that we have our result, we just need to return it. So we say return result. And let's just console.log the power. Let's say the number is two and the n going to be five. Here in my browser, you can see the result is 32 and it is working just fine. So that's how we can create a custom power function. If you want me to create more videos like this, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Thank you. Bye bye.